Alrighty, guys. Uh, this is your host, ID Jester. Let me get something to drink here. We are back in Warframe. And this time, this episode, this live stream is all about Mag. So, Mag is one of the three heroes you can get uh, if you join Warframe for free. Excalibur, Volt, and Mag are the three choices. She is the Queen of Magnetism, actually. Uh, and all of her powers deal with magnetism, I guess, is the way to put it. So let's look at her abilities first. So, she's got pull. I would rate this probably... It's a B power. Some people think it's a C power, but I actually think it's a B power because what you can do is if you're really good and you play Mag a lot and you're... You know all of her keys and her powers. When you have a heavy gunner or Eximus unit getting ready to slam down and send out their shockwave, you can pull them and interrupt their um, their attack and just knock them to their feet. So it's kind of a get on a dodge real quick if you're you know run out of ammo or something, and all of a sudden you've got enemies standing there going to blast you in the face with the shotgun. You can quickly use pull, which is a one-handed ability, so you can still reload while you're doing it. it knocks the enemy down, and it does have, uh, it's not just one enemy, it's, it sends out like a little cone in front of her. So because of that, I'm going to give that a B power. Um, it's pretty quick to cast, doesn't cost much energy, doesn't, you know, you're not going to do damage with it. I mean, that's not what you're after. You're after knocking the enemy, especially at higher level knocking them off their uh, their attack somehow, some way. Then we come to Magnetize. Oh, Magnetize. Such a good power. This is Mag in a nutshell. Magnetize is all about the, creating a bubble, having your enemies inside the bubble, doing lots of damage to it. And uh, lasts a little bit of a while and then it explodes and doesn't even more damage but the explosion at the end it doesn't even just about everyone's going to die in your magnetized bubble or, or get drawn in which is kind of cool so if they come within 5.8 meters of it they'll get drawn into the bubble so if there's a nice choke point like a doorway or something enemies enter into the room you place that in anytime they try to enter into the room they're going to get sucked in the bubble and they're going to take lots of damage Polarize. Polarize sends out an energy pulse that depletes enemy armor and shields and creates shards on the ground that will be deadly with uh, mixed with magnetize. So, yeah, you send out this pulse of energy. Pretty good range on it, too. Um, not too bad. And enemies, uh, first it'll deplete your shields. If they don't have shields um, or if their shields are gone, then it'll deplete their armor. And um, that's what the damage is there. 580 either shields or armor, depending on the unit. And um, it'll also energize ally shields, uh, any of them touched by the pulse. Now, this power is, I'm going to call this an A power too, because it will not only energize your ally shields, but also your own. And it'll create over shields. And then last but not least, Crush, which you magnetize the bones of your enemies. It's just a damage dealing power within a certain radius. It kind of holds enemies up in the air. You crush them and knocks them down. Another good power, although this one is two-handed. And it takes uh, a little while to cast. So this isn't your get-out-of-dodge uh, power that you can use like pull, where you can knock an enemy down real quick. Uh, so I would say this is a uh, B power. Doesn't do a ton of damage. It does some pretty good damage, but not too bad. Uh, she's got two A powers, magnetize and polarize. A B power with crush and a B power with pull. So overall, I would rate her uh, probably a B plus, A minus. Her passive power, unfortunately, bullet jumping uh, draws in nearby objects for easy collection. Eh. Kind of a wasted power. I'm going to give this one probably a, a D. There's really no use for it. Um, your your setting will probably be dragging in these uh, your stuff anyways. So 
yeah, not a great power. Wish this would be something like, um, you know, anyone hit by your polarized wave, you do, you know, 10, 10% extra damage or 5% extra damage. Bubba Husky, what's going on, my friend? Thanks for joining me here. Looking at Mag today. Looking at Mag. This episode's all about Mag, the magnetized lady. So, all right. So that's uh, that's her abilities. This is how I think you want to build her. I think Energy, energy Siphon is a good choice for her. Although we talked about this in our first episode, we looked at Mirage. You can never, ever, 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 ever go wrong with. Um, Corrosive projection, take away that enemy armor is always a good thing. But because we're going to be spamming our power so much, we need to get as much energy as we can all the time. And uh, Rush in this spot, which actually will give her a uh, nice sprint boost. So her sprint speed, 1.3. Not too bad. Fortitude for a little bit of strength. Three line for some efficiency, duration, prime continuity. Redirection for shield capacity. Stretch for range, vigor for more shield and more health. Prime flow for lots and lots of energy and vitality for obviously some health. So we actually have between re redirection, vitality, and vigor, we actually have three mods. Three of the eight are doing nothing but giving her more health, more shields, more energy, more, you know, and counting, yeah, counting prime flow. Actually, four of the eight mods are actually giving her. So you can see... 133 duration, 130 efficiency, 145 range, and 145 strength. Uh, so yeah, uh, you could build her with a little bit more strength and not as much range. You don't. Know, thing is with the uh, with her bubble. Did I miss Dungeons and Dragons this week? No, I had to cancel. I had to cancel. Uh, we didn't have it. We were gonna have it on uh, Monday, but. Um, uh, because Thursday was uh, Thanksgiving, we couldn't do it on Thanksgiving, so we we're going to try and squeeze it in last Monday, but I couldn't, I had to cancel at the last minute, and uh, so we didn't have it on Monday, and then with Thursday being Thanksgiving, we didn't have it at all, so we're going to start fresh this coming Thursday, I'm going to be posting a video here, probably tomorrow, letting everyone know what's going on, but uh, thanks for the question. Uh, so, oh, yeah, what was I saying now? So, yeah, the thing with her... Uh, her magnetized bubble is you don't want this to, you know, to linger a long, 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 long time with a lot of duration. Uh, you don't get any duration with polarize. Your pull doesn't give much duration and your crush doesn't give much duration. So the only thing that really duration affects mostly is your magnetize. And you don't want your bubble staying out there forever because, you know, it will do an explosion at the end. And like I said, most enemies are going to die inside your bubble anyways. Uh, so duration isn't that important. And as far as your um, range, you don't want to build with a whole bunch of range either because you don't want your bubble so big that it blocks all your allies trying to shoot anything. And I'm going to show you why that is in a minute. The most important thing I can tell you about mag, and when you're building mag, is the weapons you use. You have to choose the right weapons. I was uh, wanting to make sure my notifications were uh, function properly. Yeah, yep, you're, you're, yep, we just, uh, like I said, we missed out on uh, Monday. We're going to try and squeeze one in this week, and then everyone got busy and with the holidays, so we just decided, well, we'll just... Wait till uh, next Thursday. We'll start fresh. We'll get on a regular schedule so everyone knows what it is. Um, so, yeah, the most important thing is uh, what you are, weapons you're using. And what I mean by that is uh, when you're activating your bubble, you can get... Uh, you can get some extra damage as your little weapons bounce around inside your bubble and I'll show you what I'm talking about so if we come over here and we just cast our number two power here oh, let's get some energy there we go lots of energy all right so let's cast number two. Oh, I have to actually cast on an enemy all right all right fine let's just get rid of these guys so I can show you this we'll uh, it doesn't matter we'll uh, 
who, 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 who do we choose? Who do we beat up on? Um, yeah, doesn't really matter because we are going to just, there we go. We'll do an elite Lancer. We'll do one of them and we'll just make them level 50. It's not going to matter because I'm not going to even have them doing anything. Uh, and we're going to pause the AI and I'm going to simulate. All right, so we've got one Lancer out there because I want to show you my magnetized bubble. So when you cast your magnetized bubble, this is what happens. Nice little bubble based upon your range and your duration around whatever enemy you have targeted. See that? Hopefully everyone can see that. Now, whenever you shoot, okay, if I'm shooting over there, it's fine. But if I try to shoot over this guy or say there's another guy over here, over there by those pillars over there, and my bubble's in the way, it's going to block all those shots. So if I'm standing here and I'm trying to shoot somebody over by that pillar or somebody over by that pillar. So that's why I was saying you don't want to have too much range or too much duration because you can get in the way of your enemies. Now, what your magnetized bubble does is magnetize everything to the center of the uh, bubble. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to get a few of these guys so I can show you this. Come on, get up there. All right, we made it. Let's get uh, let's get some more of these guys. Uh, where are they? You, yeah, you. Uh, we want say, uh, oh, we don't want 19. That's crazy. I'll just put out uh, five of them. That's fine. Again, it doesn't matter because I'm just gonna keep them on pause. So you have a nice group there, and let's say I have this guy targeted over here, all the way on the left-hand side, and I target that guy. You see how it draws everyone in range into the center of the bubble. And, oh, uh, hang on, i got to go back to my um, dashboard here. Uh, so you can see how it just draws enemies in, and that's super good. Not only does it draw enemies in, but it actually draws in all of your fire as well so if i put my bubble up there and watch i'm going to aim way up here at the top you will see how the bubbles you can see them go shooting even though i'm way over here at the edge you can see how the, my bubbles is just drawing in all my fire into the middle of the bubble there do you see that so no matter where you hit in the bubble, it automatically goes to the middle of your bubble. And anyone inside the bubble is going to take damage if, if, and only if, and that's what I was talking about, if you are shooting a projectile. And your projectile needs to have a punch through. So in this case, you can see we have 1.2 uh meters of punch through in this in this case we actually have shred on this because this weapon does not have any innate punch through so you have to have a projectile weapon uh, and the super vandril is a projectile weapon and it also has to have punch through and what happens is then your projectiles bounce around inside your bubble there uh just like you so just like we showed you uh, let's get some more energy here let's Simulate again. All right, and it's got a good range on this as well. So if I hit my number two on the first guy, they all get drawn over, right? And then you see my bubbles. You can actually see the little chain of, bu of uh, projectiles bouncing around inside my bubble. And I'm inside my bubble there. But you can actually see them inside doing that. So if you have uh, you have a uh, weapon with shoots projectiles, and you have punch through, those little bubbles or these little uh, projectiles are going to bounce around in there. We also have the Maradetron here, who also shoots a uh, projectile. And uh, this has, I think, it has an innate punch through in it as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's um, let's try this one out here. So let's go back over here, simulate. There we go. So 
cast it on there. They all get drawn over. Uh, we go to our number two weapon. And watch. You see how all of our little ricochets are going down in the middle there. You see them bending and, and turning. And you can see them actually just swarming around inside there. Doing tons and tons of damage. So that's why your number two is so good. If you have the proper weapons. If you don't have the proper weapons, if you're shooting regular weapons or, um, uh, let's see, if you're not shooting, uh, if you're shooting a hit scan weapon as opposed to a projectile weapon or a discharge weapon, like the uh, Amprex is a discharge weapon, those won't ricochet around in there like those, uh, like those, um, those, uh, those other, uh, projectile weapons do so that's what makes mag if you build her properly that is much better so uh let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, simulate his skin all right so that was her number uh two power number one power again you're oh shoot i'm reloading i got an enemy gonna shoot me in the face with the shotgun you can tap it really quick and just drag them and it, like i said it shoots out like a little uh uh, it's not like a straight line. It's kind of like a cone in front of you. And you can see we got th all these guys still. It knocks them down, rags dolls them, so I can be reloading and then just drag these. Oh, that's the other one. Sorry. Pull these guys right out of the bubble. <laughs> all right, our number three power. Notice we have 1304. 1304. We're sending out a nice wave. And what should happen? Yeah, these guys, see how much damage they took there? Let's see here. They still have their armor. But I can... Uh, see how he lost his armor? See how it went from a yellow to a red? Right? Because he doesn't have any shields, so it removed uh, uh, the rest of his armor off of him. All these guys are now armorless. So that's what's really good about uh, fighting the Grenier with this uh, number two power is... Oop, is it can remove armor for you, which is armor in the in Warframe at this point in the game is uh, what it's all about. It's much armor. Uh, oops. So what I wanted to do was uh, now let's go and look at uh, let's get rid of the lancers here. Let's bring in some of the some of the uh, tech boys here. Uh, let's see here. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Mm-hmm, let's see. Uh, Elite Crewman, sure. Let's get about five of these guys. There we go. Again, level 50, just pause and simulate. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh, I forgot to kill off the enemies. All right, it was, since they're all paused, it's not going to matter. So you notice these guys have got shields. That's what that blue bar is. So if I cast my... Oh, holy cow, look at that. Got all of them killed except for just that one, just by having that little shockwave come out, because it does so much. These guys are still... Now, see, it didn't do anything to their health, right? Because it only takes away your shields or your, um, or your armor with number three power. Uh, let's kill off the enemies here. Uh, kill, 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 kill off, kill off enemies. There we go. Kill them all. Uh, simulate. All right, let's see here. So send out a little shockwave. Boom. They take a lot of damage from that loss of shields. All right. And now they're, they're easy pickings. Easy, easy pickings, right? And there's our uh, power there. Is when we do the bullet jump. It drags the uh, little things with us, so we get easier to pick them up for some reason. People think that's good. All right, so that's uh, number one power, number two power, number three power. Let's kill off the enemies. Let's go to number four now. So number four, we uh, just pick them up. Do a little shock wave. And do a bunch of damage. Notice uh, that all their shields are gone. And they took most of their health. They still have a little bit of health left. 
but you can combine your number ones, your number twos, your number threes, and your number fours together to give you a super, super good. All right, so let's um, let's uh, kill off these guys. So we're going to turn them on here. This is level five, 50 here. Let's put them up. Let's put her out there against uh, that's an Eximus unit. Not that it would matter. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's, uh, I see. Uh, we can sort by scan. That's fine. Um, keep all the ones I scanned already up there. So, let's see. Who can we put out there? Oh, we'll bring a couple of these guys out as well. And, uh, crewmen. Yeah, let's bring out some crewmen. So, we got, uh, what is that? 8, 13. 13, that's good. Let's, let's uh, t -t 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 simulate. All right, here we go. So, get our number three going here. Everyone's going to die. Now, th you can use this bubble as a defensive thing because nobody from on their side of the bubble can shoot through the bubble at me. If they try, it'll just go into the bubble. See how his little, he tried to throw a grenade at me and it got sucked into my bubble, right? So, there you go. All right, you guys want some of me? You guys want some of me? There you go. Oh, you're all stuck in there. Now, when they try to shoot me, all their little bullets are just getting sucked back in. Haha. <laughs> now I can just aim anywhere in the bubble. Anywhere in the bubble. Doesn't matter. They'll just get sucked right in there. And they're all dead. Now watch when the bubble dies here. All that damage that I've done will explode out. And a little shockwave. But like I said, normally there's not going to be anybody left if you're doing everything right. So that was, uh, that was, uh, whoop. That was a pretty bad job. Oh, there's more guys. Sorry. Oh, you are over here. He's dead. He just, the game didn't even register. Didn't even register he's dead yet. That's how quick we killed him. So, oh, there's another one alive somewhere. I saw somebody shooting at me. So you can put your bubble down as a defensive barrier. Obviously, the only problem with it is you've got to actually target an enemy. But see, he's, he can't do anything. He tries to shoot me. Go ahead, buddy. He's just doing damage to himself. <laughs> Come on. I'm right here. Shoot me. Shoot me. Throw your grenade. Good idea. Oh, he blew himself up. Good idea. Oh, almost. Went off the edge. Now, that would have been a rookie mistake, right? All right, we're going to crank these guys up. We're going to go uh, We're gonna go up to rank uh, 80. We're going to make them, you know, higher than uh, anyone you would find in the star chart. All right, let's do this. There you go. They're all in there. I can come over here. I can use this bubble as a blocker. Anyone over on that side can't shoot me, so you can get into position. There's another guy over there. Okay, sure. Whatever. Let's send out a little shockwave. All right, and then we're going to pick them up, slam them on the ground. You're dead. You're dead. Thanks for playing. You're dead too, and I'm using a I'm using the Mara Dotron. I'm not using any. Oh, ran out of ammo. Oh, let's drop it. Pull. There we go. Is a reload, and now he's dead. See, that's where that reload or that's uh, pull power can kind of come in so handy if you're uh, like reloading. You got a weapon that takes a long time to reload. Uh, yeah. So now let's crank these guys up. Let's do this. We're going up to rank 100. That'd be 100, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Let's send our shockwave. There we 
go. They're, they're, these, all these guys are dead. There's nothing they can do. They're going to be stuck in there. All I have to do is shut the, shoot the bubble a couple times, and they're all going to die. All right, and then we're going to send our little shockwave there. Oh, you, you want to hide on me? Okay, well, I'll just create a bubble around you. Just shoot anywhere in the bubble. Shoot anywhere in this bubble. Boom, 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 boom. These are level 100. We just took out a whole bunch of them. I thought you were alive, but no, you're dead. Yeah, level 100, zero, zero, that's mag. Yep, creating a defensive barrier, you know, because the enemy's at high, high level, level 100, or I would say level 80 or higher. They love to hit you with these big attacks. So you just find someone, cast your number two on them, and then it's basically a massive shield between you and the enemy. Uh, let's get some energy. All right. All right, can we go? Let's go 120. Can we go up to 120? I'm not really sure. I guess we can. All right. Let's do this. Now, I'm using this as a, oh, shit, as a blocker, because I know there's guys that are going to possibly kill me. Okay, send another shockwave. Get all my shields back. Let's pick these guys up. All right, and then I'm going to, oh, 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 and I fell to my death, because I got stuck on the wall again. And just shoot anywhere. Oh, pull, pull. Well, as I reload, there we go. By the time he gets up, I've reloaded, and look at that. This is a level 120, guys. We just dominated him. Anybody else want some of me? All right. Now, Grenier is a little bit tougher because, well... As I've mentioned, I don't know, a million times so far. <laughs> Armor is what the game's all about at this point, right? So let's um, let's go back. Let's get some uh, let's get some Grenier guys. Uh, faction Grenier. There we go. Oh, I didn't even notice that. We could actually sort them. That will come in handy now that I know that. All right, so let's find some regular... Elite Lancers, we're going to say eight of these guys, and a couple, now this is what's going to be the problem, it's going to be the Heavy Gunners, because they got a lot of armor, and they do a lot of damage, right, so Heavy Gunner, we're going to just put two of those guys out there, so it's ten versus one. We're gonna knock. We're gonna start back over uh, at level rank 50. There, there we go. And we're gonna kill off the enemies. And now we're gonna simulate. Those guys are all dead. I just just put a few bullets in there, and they're all gonna die. That's all there is to it. All right, here's the heavy gunner. Can I get him? There we go. Oh, and these guys are now completely worthless. Shoot me all you want. Look at what he's doing. He's hurting himself. Now just a couple bullets in there. and let him ricochet around and do all kinds of damage. And they're both dead. Almost off the edge. All right, that was pretty easy. Let's crank these guys up to say rank 80. Now they're in the danger zone. Right here's, right here's going to be the danger zone because they're going to start doing a lot more damage. A couple hits, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be in trouble, right? So we're going to, let's get our wave out there. We got lots of shields now. Let's get our bubble out there. Use as a shield now. These guys on the other side shooting. They can't do anything. There we go. Okay. 
Don't shoot me. Go ahead, shoot me. Oh, yeah, you got me. Oh, yes, you do. Look at him. He's just, look at his own health just going down. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Good job. All right. That's two wins for us. That was pretty easy, actually. A lot easier than I thought. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, and we're using our pistol. We're, we're using a Maradotron pistol. We're not using our Super Vandril. If we uh, if we use our Super Vandril, uh, it would almost be unfair, this fight. Um, you know what? We are gonna, we're going to use it this time, though, because we're going to crank these guys up to rank 100. Now we're talking tons of armor. Danger, danger. A couple hits, and we're going to be in trouble, right? So we can't take hits. There's our shockwave. Let's hit the shockwave the second time. There we go. All right, now we'll get him. Now we'll get there's just just ricocheting around in there, right? Look at him. He's shooting me, but our bubbles just taking all that damage in. Just taking all that damage. In. So I'm gonna pull him forward and right off the edge. See you later. This guy's dead, even though you can't see it. All right. All right. Put another bubble out there. Thank you. We don't have to necessarily go with the bubbles. A little bit of health issue here. Where are we getting hit from? Oh, there he is. Pull up. Wait, pull you. See ya. Bye. There we go. I was, uh, ooh, oh, shit, there's still someone out there. Where is he? Where are you? Oh, he's way over there. Oh, I see you. There's another one right there. He's dead. So... Good thing about that power, this magnetize, is once I target them and the power goes, they can run all they want. It fouls wherever they go. So that's level 100, and that was a little bit tough because I, oops, I was taking some, I was taking a beating there because she doesn't have a lot of armor, as we talked about. Armor is the king in this game right now. Um go back we can look and yeah we have 65 armor horrible horrible armor now the reason we have such high shields is because their power will give us a tons of shields right so um you know we can get over shields we get all of our shields back with our number three power and let's see uh it helps if we could oh we also get a damage multiplier as well Right. All right. So now comes the big test. This is going to be the big one right here. We're going to go up to rank 120. This is this is going to be double as hard as anything you would find in the star charts. Let's go on this side of the bubble. Oh, they got me. They caught me from behind. This guy was too close to the edge. I hate that. Let's try that again. Kill enemies. All right, let's do this again. I hit my wrong button, too, which doesn't help. Yep, got him. So that's going to help. I can use it as a defensive shield. Now all these guys can't get me from that side. Oh, I'm out of energy because I'm stupid. <laughs> I, I started the fight without any energy. Okay. Well, that was kind of rookie mistake, wasn't it? All right. Let's kill off the enemies. All right. Here we go. Now we'll have energy.
Use that as a defensive barrier. There we go. Ah, yeah, they're just, they're so powerful at the uh, this level. Uh, let's kill off the enemies. We're going to give it one more try here. Probably be a little more uh, defensive here if we don't fall off the edge. Got this health orb, that'll be a good thing for us. Oh shit, where'd you come from? You <laughs> oh, they're just hiding behind the stupid poles. I hate that. Come on. Alright, this time we got this. We got this for sure. I know where they're at now. Target them. There you go. As long as they get them targeted, these guys will die. No problem. So I just have to just have to make sure we can target them. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Oh, they're trying to flank on me. Yep, we got him targeted, so I can use this as a nice barrier now. And even though he's on the other side of the pillar, doesn't matter, my little bullets. Go ahead, stick your head out there. Oh, you're just too far away, aren't you? Oh, I need more energy. What? Oh, I can't even cast that power. Damn it. Did I lose my energy somehow? Somehow, some way. I don't think I was at full energy, I think, is the problem. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. Now I'm being serious, because this is going to be the one. This is level, like I said, 120. This is 10 guys versus just little old us. Let's do this this time. Now we've got the energy. Yep. Unless they got their shot off first, they were going to die. That's That was a for sure. There's our little shards. See those little shards on the ground? He's dead. I got plenty of time to reload. Oh, who got me? Someone got me. Whew, that was a tough one, though. I thought we had that one. Thought we were going to get him that time. All right, uh, let's kill off the enemies one more time. I think we're going to do it this time. There we go. They couldn't get me. Now these guys are going to die. Kill them up, shit, God. fell off the edge. <laughs> Didn't help that I fell off the edge. All right, come on now. Here I am showing. All right, let's kill off the enemies. Let's make sure we got all of our energy. Okay, I didn't think we did, but... Yeah, these guys are tough at uh, level 120. All right, so first things, let's kill off the enemies. Now, let's not rush. There we go. All right, now let's simulate it. If we can get our, if we get this without dying. Okay, these guys are gone. can't shoot me. Uh, you can, though. Yo. Oh. Alright. That's 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 Mag in a nutshell, though. Uh, kill off enemies. There we go. She is super good until you get pretty high in the star chart because, as I mentioned, and I hate to keep sounding like a broken record, 
right now in the game, armor rules over everything. More armor, more wins is basically all it is. Armor with enemies and armor on heroes. The, the heroes that have tons and tons of armor are the heroes that are very uh, tanky. If you're not very tanky at over 100 and you're fighting enemies that are over 100 and you're not super tanky and can take a few hits, um, you know, there's there's heroes that have four or 500 armor by default. So you can see we have 65. So we do have a ton of shields. And I think shields in the game right now are weak because of mag. Because if mag can energize everyone else's shields in the game... Uh, that would be like so OP. Mag would be in every single squad that you were to join because, um, you know, shields were equal strength to armor, which it should be. I mean, you should have shields protecting against certain kinds of attacks and then armor protecting other kinds of attacks. And, uh, but it just doesn't, it doesn't work that way. In the, the corpus units, you could tell. Not as tough as the Grenier guys, just because of all that armor. That's why um, Corrosive Projection is so good, is if you have four four guys in your squad with Corrosive Protection, that means all those Grenier units lose all their armors, and that's why that is so important. Uh, in fact, if we go back, I will show you exactly what I'm talking about because some of you are probably like, I don't know what you're talking about. So we'll go to, uh, we'll get rid of the heavy gutter, right? So let's go back to Grenier. Let's go with a uh, heavy gunner. Heavy gunner. Uh, where are you? Heavy gunner. Eximus, here's a heavy gunner. All right, so we'll just take one of these guys. So 500 armor. Right? And it actually shows you what's good against it and what's bad against it, right? And he's only got 300 health, 500 armor, I'm assuming, uh, at rank 1, possibly. Is that at rank 1? If we put this guy, say, at rank... <sighs> Let's go with rank... Uh, Let's go rank 80, that's fine. I'm going to pause the enemy AI, right? Alright, so if I was to just walk up here, right? Okay, that was uh, probably a kind of a bad example. Let's try something else. Whoa. Let's try a different weapon. Um, actually, I do want to see one thing before uh, let's upgrade. All right. Uh, do I have? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, let's just see. We're gonna have to take off. Let's just take off stretch, and we'll put in seeking shuriken. Right. All right. So the seeking shuriken here. Exposed weakness is going to reduce enemy armor by 70%. And then, um, yeah, we'll show you what the difference is here. We'll just use ashes in this example, and we'll use, um, let's use the, let's use the Breton Prime. There we go. All right, so, uh, all right. Uh, heavy gunner uh, simulate. Here we go. I'm shooting this guy in the face, and we went all the way down to 52 bullets remaining, right? Because all that stupid armor he's got on him, right? Now, if we were to uh, kill off enemies, simulate. Now, this time I'm going to use my Seeking Shuriken, which basically just knocked off 70% of his armor. 
and three bullets, and he's dead. So you can see what a big difference that is. And if I had on corrosive projection on him, uh, let's see, Ash, let's upgrade him. Uh, let's just remove this. I'll put in uh, corrosive projection. Oh, I don't. Um, let's get rid of fatal teleport. That's fine. I'm screwing up Ash. But we'll put in corrosive projection. We'll just keep the seeking shurikens on, right? And let's give it some energy. Make sure everything's filled up. So uh, we're not going to pause him this time. We're going to crank him up to rank 100. Uh, actually, yeah, we will pause them again just to show you this. All right, so kill and simulate. All right, so this is now rank 100. All right, so this is with this armor. The only thing I have is the, the corrosive projection. Stop moving. I want to make sure I continue hitting you in the face. Come back here. All right, so we had 55 bullets left, right? So there we go. Get our health back. Let's reload. Let's kill enemies, and now let's simulate. All right, so now... He should have 30%, and if I use the number one power, it should, uh, I have 80 bullets left. So twice as long, twice as much uh, damage I had to do because of all that armor. So that just shows you armor in the game rules everything right now. It's just, it reduces the damage so much. Uh... If you have a ton of armor. And unfortunately for us, Mag only has a 65 armor. And this is most as she's going to get. So having corrosive projection on there, although it's, you know, would help a little bit, it's not. We need more. We want to keep these bubbles up all the time. But uh, if we. Let's go in and uh, let's get rid of that guy. Let's go in with the uh, infestation now. Let's try a. A couple ancient healers and a couple ancient healers are going to be tough. What they do is they allow it so that the enemies don't get damaged from. Uh, oh, that's an Eximus. Um, just to make things. Let's go eight of those. That's fine. And I don't know. Just a couple flyers. That's fine. Right, and we'll put these guys back at, say, level 80, just to show you how well she does against the infestation. Now, she's weak against infestation. Why is she weak against infestation? Uh, because, um, let's kill off the enemies and then simulate, right? All right, so the enemies aren't going anywhere. The reason she's weak against them is because her powers, her polarize, does extra damage against armor and shield units, which... Neither the um, most of the um, infested don't have armor or shields, and um, you know she doesn't get all that bonus damage against the uh, infested like she does a lot of the other units. So, yeah, uh, let's kill off the enemies. Simulate. Oh, what happened here? Somehow we kill, 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 kill them off. All right. Let's go back. Infestation. So ancient healers are a problem. We got to take these guys out when we see them. Let's add these guys back in. We'll add eight of these guys. A couple of the flying guys. And sure, we'll add one of these guys. Whatever. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen. No pause. Level eighty and go. Yeah, so we're using our uh, Breton Prime, which is not the weapon shoe we should be using, right? We now know that. So you see the difference when we when we uh, use our right weapon. 
Oh, and I jumped almost to my death. And I did, okay, because I couldn't see where the heck I was going. So, hold this guy. There we go. Oh, did I pull him off the edge? Well, that was kind of cheap. Here's another one. Take that, Mr. Ugly Face. And, yeah, I mean, Mag does great up to level... You know, 80 to 100, and she's fine. No problems. Um, obviously better against the Corpus and the um, Grenier than the Infested, but you can see we just we did fine against the, uh, the uh, Infested. No problem. We just won't get any... Uh, It would help if I turned on my sprint, too. That would be very helpful. So, got him targeted. Notice how the uh, magnetized did not work. Got him targeted. Got him targeted. One, I mean, once you get him targeted, they're done. There's nothing they can do. He's trying to shoot me with this little spray, and notice my bullets are just ricocheting right into the middle there. Just boom, boom, boom. He's been dead 10 minutes, but I just like shooting him anyway. So, yeah, Mag does just fine, just because of her lack of armor. And the way the game is designed right now is... Um, she, she can't go up against these super high tier units. Just, she, it's a little bit hard. Anything level 100 uh, or over, it's a little bit difficult for her. Again, we just want a projectile weapon. Uh, I think a bow is a projectile weapon. So let's try just a simple little bow here and see how we do here. Uh, let's choose our... Dryad bow, and we want to choose our arrow. Let's use the Katir arrow and copy our Warframe color. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent. All right. Uh, oh, does it have punch through? Is the question. That should be the super question. Uh, punch through 4.2. 4.2 because the shred is 1.2. And it must have a default of um, like uh, three meter punch through as like a default. Right, make sure we get plenty of energy here. We're gonna need it. All right, so let's um, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys and go back up against um, our dreaded Grenier, the hard guys, right? Uh, I just want the regular Joe Schmoes. Bombards, yeah. Which you'll see bombards all the time in higher level missions. Uh, that is not... Lancer unit. So we'll put out 10 Lancers, 11 Lancers, and the Heavy Gunner. So that's uh, 12 versus us. Level 80. Simulate. All we've got is a bow. Okay. That's fine. Be jerk. Once I got you targeted, buddy, there's nothing you can do. And I keep thinking I'm shooting with a, a gun. Who keeps shooting me, you jungle? Once I get you targeted, you're done. And actually, I should actually use my... Did I... Yeah, you got sucked in there. Look at that. Look at our, look at our arrows just flying around in there. That's awesome. All right. I know there's still some more guys. Where are you? Oh, red crit. 
Who the hell is shooting me? He's too far away. Again, watch the arrow. You can just see it just bend right over. Even if I shoot low, see it just bending right into the middle. I think there's one more guy. Yep. There he is, way over there. Oh, two more guys. There you go. As long as I get them targeted with my number two before they kill me, they're dead. Yep, as soon as I target them. No problem. Bow level, what do we, uh, what, what do we put these guys? Rank 80? Is that where we're at? Wait. Get some more of this. Get some more of this. Let's uh, let's crank them up one more time up to level 100. That's about as high as we were able to do last time. Got him guy shooting me from all the way over there. That was some very nice. Oh, they did the right thing. They separated. Oh my god, there's guys freaking everywhere. Let's get some shields back. Uh, we got to do this. We're gonna do. We got to do this. Come on now. Let's see if I can get this guy targeted. Can I get him targeted in time? No, nope, he's gonna get me. That was the wrong power too. That sucks. We need number two. I think, uh, yeah, that was a grenade or something. That was crazy. All right, let's kill off the enemies. Let's try this again. This time, hopefully. Get the big group dead. That would be super good. that bubble is a defensive barrier to see where the enemies are. Target one of them. No, no, no. you got to hit your number two, not your number three, dummy. Ah, I had them. I had them. I freaking had them. Arrgh. All right, so let's try this. One. Oh, shit. I didn't get energy. Oh, well, now we're screwed. Just gonna have to. They're dead. Okay. Orange crit still didn't kill him. There we go. Oh. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I fell through the edge. That was not a good thing. Get some energy would help. Alright, now we got some energy orbs. Stick your freaking head out there, jerk. I hope he threw his grenade. See that? I saw it that time. This bow is just not designed to kill level 100. Full shields again. I get that group targeted. Oh, shit. Wrong button again. 
Damn it. Okay. I ran out of energy. I see an energy orb. I see another energy orb. Okay, now... Yeah, that's right. Bunch together, you idiots. Another energy orb. So now it comes down to me and Joe Smo over here. Ah. Uh -huh. Did we do it? Did we do it? Is that it? Nope. Shit. If I get him targeted before he kills me, then I win. Because there's... Once they're in the bubble, there's nothing they can do. They shoot you. They just kill themselves. Oh, shit. Is this another guy? It is another guy. Ooh, 4553 red crit. Nice. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So that was level... Oh, shit. That was level 100, guys. They gave me a, they gave me a run for my money. That's for sure. Especially without energy. So... That's 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 mag in a nutshell. You want to make sure your weapon's a projectile. Make sure it's got punch through. In this case, this this one is uh, must have three meters of uh, default punch through. In fact, uh, if we get rid of shred, yeah, because there's nothing else on here. That is going to give you. Uh, punch through so this weapon obviously very good for mag very good 112 percent chance of critical that's not bad and obviously if we have less enemies to worry about the better off we'd be right so let's put out say uh, let's go back to corpus try another corpy corpus thing um, where is, and melee guys are just, they're nothing. Uh, let's add in a couple of these guys, sure. And, sniper, yeah, let's add in a sniper, we'll give them a chance. All right, and what else? Where is, like, just default schmo guy? Purpose tech, sure. Give them six of these guys. And a power carrier, sure. We'll give them two of these guys. So what do we got? Four, ten, that's 13. The level 113. And go. <laughs> Somebody came from behind. I think it was the sniper. All right. All right. Let's see how you want to play this. All right. That's fine. Let's do this again, boys. I think what we're going to do is... Group's dead, no problem. I got you targeted, buddy. There's nothing you can do about it other than die. Yep. That's why our number two power is so good. It's quick. Is that everyone? Nope. Get to get this guy targeted. As long as he's targeted, he's gonna die. Is that everyone? Oh, look at those arrows! Just mess that guy up. Oh no, I'm still getting shot. Well, that's. 
Level 100 Corpus, not a problem there. That was... Let's try again here. Hopefully... Oh, I forgot my... That was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible. I should have remembered to get... I was busy looking at my health. All right, let's try again. Now kill. So we got four, five, nine, ten guys. Ten versus one, level 100. Let's go. With a bow. If they want to be jerks, you can actually pick them up inside the bubble. Thanks for all your little PC parts. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Yep, I see you over there. If you don't kill me before I get you targeted, you're going to die. Just warning you. Oh, shit. There was a guy behind me. Yep, that guy in the orange again. That guy's pretty tough. Let's kill off everyone. Kill everyone. Must be... The crewman? I think there's only one of them. Let's do this. Let's find that guy and destroy him right off the bat. There we go. Let's see how he does against my attack. He's dead. Okay. Took a little while. This guy's pretty tough. Sometimes you just gotta dodge your attacks, I guess. Look at all these damage numbers. Holy crap. Not only that, but they're damaging themselves as well. And I think we win. Because I think that's all of them. 100, level 100, Corpus, no problem. Grenier. is Oh shit, there's a guy down here. I'm right here, dude. He was, I think, stuck on the wall or something. I'm not sure. All right, so let's go uh, run some missions now, right? Oh, um, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll use that. We'll use this in case we need to switch out. Guandano, sure. Paris Prime, we should have a, uh, this is a pretty decent bow, actually. We're going we're gonna to put a thing on it. A lens, why not? Uh, got enough of the, yeah, let's do another Zenric. That's our main school. Let's go ahead and try and, and, uh, yeah, let's uh, do the same thing here. Actually, uh, mag is the little S, right? The little S. So what's... Because we're probably going to use this weapon when we use it with Mag. So we might as well use the little Manduri, I guess, sure. There we go. All right. Yeah, it was uh, it's a fun test. Grenier, anytime you get Grenier over... Uh, level 100 they're just gonna be so tough they're just gonna be so tough because of all that armor they possess they have uh, lots and lots of damage you saw when we did the test with uh, with ash again I'm going to show you in case you you missed that um, we're just gonna go to ash we're gonna just equip actually a crappy weapon so that way you can actually see how many bullets it takes. Um, let's just use the Boltar. Is it upgraded? Uh, yeah, it's not even fully upgraded yet because I just got this weapon. So that'll be a good, that'll be a good test. So we want to get rid of these and this and this. We want to go to Grenier. 
heavy gunner. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. That's uh, wait a minute. Let's heavy gunner. One, two. We'll make them rank 120. Kill enemies. Stop. That's not what I wanted. Kill enemies. Let's pause them. There we go. I right, see how long it takes us to. Have to go a little slower here with my shots. Okay, that was one clip. Stop wiggle, Aaron. That was two clips. Three clips. Stop wiggling. I don't even know if this gun will be able to kill him. Come on. He's almost dead. Oh, he got his armor back. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, get it quick. Where he gets his armor back. Oh my god. Wow. Last one. Alright, you saw how difficult it was for this gun to kill that level 120, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to use our Seeking Cherokee, which is going to remove 70% of his armor on this guy. Same thing. Throw that on him. He's dead. Now tell me that isn't... Now that might be a little weird because he flew off the edge. He might have had a little bit of health left, but let's go ahead and uh, simulate again. Obviously, um, actually, I want to get a weapon that's not going to take me all day to kill him. Let me get something that's... Has this one been upgraded? No. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to find a weapon that's not super powerful that'll take a little while to kill him. Something a little... Something that's got good accuracy so we can get headshot after headshot after headshot. Uh... Something with a okay, Soma. That's a pretty decent weapon, but it's not totally overpowered. All right, and now let's go in, kill enemies, simulate. All right, let's get the guy in the back first. So, this is with full armor. All right, so I had 55 bullets left, right. Now, armor, look at that, like six bullets. See, uh, that weapon is a little, probably a little bit too strong to show you that. Let's choose something maybe a little less good. Uh, Velt? How many bullets is a uh, magazine does it have? 26. Okay. All right. I don't think we need health or anything. That's fine. All right. Uh, t -t -t yep. Go. All right. I want to get the guy in the back so I don't get any splash damage on the guy in the front. All right. Ready? Stand up. Come on. Alright, so I had 11 bullets left. 
Now, same thing. Gross of protection. Three bullets. He's dead. Three bullets. So that's the difference in armor in the game right now. Is It's the difference of how many millions of hit points they have versus how many normal hit points they have. Couldn't get up the thing. So, anyways, now you've guys seen it in action a couple times. Uh, so if you don't have armor, you're not going to be able to take a lot of attacks. And it's just the way it is. And so right now the strong heroes are the ones that... Um, the strong heroes are the ones that uh, can do lots of, uh, have lots of armor. <coughs> 65, I think, is like the lowest in the game, or pretty close. I think there might be one hero that is 40. And this is Mag Prime, too, so I don't know what the default mag is. Pretty squishy as well, so just keep that in mind, but uh, yeah. Alright, so that's a good look. Once you get up into rank, you know, bag will be great up to rank uh, level 80s and probably level 100s. And then uh, higher than level 100 should be fine except for the Grenier and the, uh, uh, the Grenier mostly. All right, let's uh, run a couple missions now, shall we? <coughs> so get a projectile weapon. Get lots of punch through and uh, go to town. All right, uh, what do we have for missions? Anything good? Anything good going on? We got the ghouls. Defense mission, level 35 to 39. Um, gallium. A capture mission, that'll be pretty damn quick. Uh, sure, let's do that. That's fine. Because I would like to have some Gallium just in case. Actually, I got two Gallium as my reward today. So, my daily login. Day one, two, four. The only reason I know that was because yesterday was one, two, three. So, might as well get a Gallium. I probably got a million of it. Who knows? But, um, what are we doing here? What are we doing, boys? doing the capture, right? Isn't that what we're doing? Yeah, we're just doing a capture. We just go get the guy and then leave. I don't know what those other guys are waiting for. Maybe they were joining just like I was. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe they want to spend time looking around to see if there's any the treasure rooms. Oh, jump up there. Yep, this way. Then around the corner. Oh, the other way. I thought it was going to be this way, but it's not. And let's go ahead and cast our bubble there. So you guys can get it. Let's cast another bubble. You guys are going to be jerks. We fought with honor. I got that guy all the way across the map. There's a module over there. Okay, sure, 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 whatever. It looks like Gal or uh, Argon there, that green glowy thing too. I'm gonna run down here to see. Yep, Argon. That's what I meant to say it was. As long as there's two people at the zone, it won't reset. If I would have left, it would have reset. So, I didn't want to.
There we go. Easy peasy. Mission complete. The captain has been escorted to the extraction Uh, yeah, we got our gallium. That's right. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna... S Depending on who we're fighting, I'm gonna switch to the bow, just so we can... Treasure room. Hornet strike. Thanksgiving. Yeah, well, I've got probably 20 Horned Strikes. But if you're new to the game, you probably don't, so that would probably be a good find then, right? I've probably been selling them all along Hornet Strike. Tenno, a new alert has begun. It will be marked on navigation. Uh, I have... Oh, I actually have four of them, besides the one I've put Endo into, and actually... To get it up to the next rank would require 5,000. 120, can I finish it off? No, I need 15,000 to get it up the last two. But that would be a big one if I could get that up. Um, Alright, so let's see what we're doing now. Oh yes, hang on a second, I was gonna... I was going to go and switch out weapons. We don't need something that good. That good. Uh, let's go with... <coughs> Ares Prime. It's a bow. Why not? Give the enemies a chance. Oh, we do have our new Cobra, too. Look. He's done. We can claim him, but... That's not what this episode's about. We're not messing around. We're trying to be focused. I have a hard time with that. Alright, so infestation, not our strongest suit, but we do want the 150 endo. Oh shit, hang on a second. Cancel, cancel. I did, no, 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 squad. That was a spy mission, that is not, oh no, it's a defense mission, okay. That's fine. I thought, I saw spy, it was the one underneath it. Uh, I was like, Mag is not the one you want to do a spy mission. has been compromised. Defend the cargo until reinforcements arrive. All right. That was dumb. Come on. Uh, where do we know? Chomp, dude. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let's go grab her. Focus. Most of our gun will be doing most of the action for us. Probably won't use too many of our powers, but you never know. Oh, missed it. Right here is a great location for that bubble, right? All right, so come on. There we go. Anyone that comes into that bubble is going to die. That's just a given now. I don't even have to worry about that zone. Look at them just dying if they go into that bubble. Got one more in there. Alright, so we got, what, ten waves to do here. This will be easy peasy. This is level 30 to 35 stuff. Easy peasy stuff. Do the same thing. I like that strategy from last time. I do the same thing over here at this door, but uh, die, you little jerk. Uh, 
Grab all our goodies. There's our. Let's let, let this wave finish off. And we'll grab our focus right as the next wave starts. There we go. Come on, boys. Come on. There you go, boys. Die. I was coming after after me. I was trying to get him. I want three seconds left. Two, one. That was it. Twelve hundred and three thirty. Okay. Die. Hey, we're getting at this door. That's time. That's fine. Ah, uh, that was a waste. There was already uh, there was two endo bubbles. Or yeah, two endo. Where'd that guy go? Hmm. We'll wait for the end of the wave here. Really? Got knocked down. I think I couldn't kill that guy for some reason. Let me get this doorway, buddy. Come on, let's go. I'm right here, guys. Come get me. Shoot in the bubble, that's all. Sound a little magnetized wave. It doesn't won't do any damage to the enemies, but it will give us a little bit of a I don't know what Mag was doing way over there by herself. Let's switch to the bow for a little while. Let's see how we doing. Yeah, 58% of the damage. We are actually doing 58% of the damage. this ways it's real hard to do a bow maybe that's what she was after a little focus I forgot to bring my sentinel. There we go. That's going to be a lot of guys in that bubble that time. I was trying to wait till the right moment. Done messing around, I'll come in there and kill him for you. <laughs> that guy could swing in his weapon. 
There's some more endo. Stay down. Oh really? Take that. You you wanna throw me, I'll throw your ass too. He's the one that doesn't take any damage because he's a jerk. Through him ass, through his ass. Why is he not taking any damage? Is he an ally? He was not an ally, but he was a jerk. That's all right, I'll save you guys. That was a close one. We did 60% of the damage, 59%. We killed 313, three times as many as the next guy. Yeah. Mag is pretty good when you get these choke points, right? 295 endo, that's pretty good. For 10 minutes of... We were coming for endo, right? It was 150, so we picked up like 145 in the mission. That's, that's not bad. All right, let's leave this squad. Let's leave these squad meets. Let's see what uh, Neo capture, Neo interception, Neo exterminate. Level 30 to 40, but these are pretty tough. We'll try that one because we got a bazillion Neo relics, and we want. The S7, because we want the Silva and Angus Prime something or other. Uh, what do, oh, this is just go kill everyone. Kill everyone. Exterminate. So this has got all the factions. That's right, I have the wrong weapon. Die and die. Kill them before I could target them, jerk. Kill them again before I could target them. guys they just killed. How many, uh, there we go. So, now we just have to 
kill the rest of these guys. Yeah. Finish your mission and we'll take a look inside. Let's kill everyone. He died. He died before I could. Save my teammates there. Damn it, what the hell knocked me down? Oh, it's a stupid, it's a stupid thing. How many waves are you gonna send down, you jerk? Take that. I didn't know that guy's attack, too. That was perfect. Madman, and I can't even control it. We're going to go crazy. Ah, it's stuck in the water. That was a good exposure to my face. I got it. <laughs> that was a hell of a shot. Whew, that was crazy fast. Volt. Giving everyone a big boost. I don't know. I'm gonna run all the way. Ah, it's only 61 meters. It's actually not that far. I can shoot at him from up here. Oh, I got it. Oh, I already own three of them, but that's fine. Uh, Sylvan Angus, Prime Blade, Prime Guard. I'm getting... Uh, ooh, this guy wants to turn those Prime Blueprint, though. Ooh, I do need this. Ah, it's too late. I didn't switch in time. I wanted that Soma, Prime Boy. Ah! Oh, it's hard to turn up those uh, rares, though. Definitely hard to turn up those, turn off those rares. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's, let's see if we can get into a regular mission. Sure. Boom, 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 boom. Faster there, buddy. Don't forget the reaction. 
running, no, running is saying. Oh, there's reactants. That'll be the one we need. Okay. Now we just have to kill the guys. See this the the weapon that we're using for Mag here isn't like top tier, but it works with her powers. So we're not going to be doing a ton of damage. Oh, there's an Argon. Somebody's looking for Argon. There's another Argon. Another Argon Crystal. Threw him across the room, that's fine. Gives me a chance to reload. I picked up all kinds of Argon, oh, Jesus. Pick up that gem. Shoot that one. Uh, little treasure room. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything. Nobody. stuff up. Come on, come on elevator, let's go. They're still killing enemies. Oh yes, I gotta remember to put my damn sentinel on because all this stuff should be sucking over to me, but it's not. Cause another successful mission, find extraction. So I gotta manually do it all myself. So yeah, I don't know why you just don't hit auto pick everything up. Uh, what's going on with that door? That jerk. It's the most expensive item we can sell, so we'll pick it up. Another job well executed. Another job well done. Yeah, we did three percent of the damage that time. We were way behind. Way behind. Fifteen endo. All right.
right. So, uh, like survival missions, uh, Argon Crystal, we got a whole bunch of that, but sure, let's go there. That's fine. Give you guys a little bit taste of a couple different kinds of missions here. We're running Mag Prime here. Pretty decent, pretty decent Warframe. I'm, I'd say B plus, A minus. Obviously, uh, we get up that higher. Oh, I forgot the stupid Sentinel. Jesus Christ. Somebody found a jam right off the bat. That's always a good thing. Where is it? Target located. Bring them in. Uh, I don't even know where. Go to the exit, boys. That's not the exit. Focus, you're all gonna die. You're all gonna die. You're all gonna die. Oh, you're gonna stand there. Come on. Suck him in. Oh, how far is that gem? 145? Oh my god. It's not that far back. Pick it up. You went in here and then you didn't kill. You didn't open all the containers. Why would you do that? Oh, here's a morphic. Sometimes they hide things underneath these stairs, like uh, statues. And I'm gonna go after that resource over there. Ooh, this one's got a wall on it. Doors are locked. Time to break in. Come on! Open the Um, hello. Successful. Let's get going. Alarms reset. Take that in, do. Uh, we're going this way. So let's go to ching 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 a boom 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 a boom 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 look at me look at me I'm the best I'm the best Go. I got two stars out of that. I didn't figure, yeah, we did half the damage. Not bad, not bad, not bad. 
All right, unless there's another quick one, maybe we'll just uh, call it an episode. See if there's any other quickie. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll do one more. One more there. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this one. Why not? Run this mission over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Because next Friday, when Baka Katir comes back, he's probably going to have some good stuff. Since he didn't have crap last time. A fissure. Defend yourself and use reactor to open relics. Oh my Get gosh. Reactor. Use it to crack open relics. You are going to need your reactor. Want to open that relic. I gotta go pick up all this stuff. Because I keep. Pick that up. Got another gem over here. What's all this? There you go. Knock me down, will ya? the right way. Let's be this way. I was gonna jump right into the death. You know, it's an even better jump. As you can't not. Oh my god. guy, anybody comes in. Got him. All the way from over here. Mm, you can see I own all of that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, guess we'll take that. Nobody wanted my object. Mission you complete. suck. Excellent work, Tenno. Two stars. That'd be a good mission to run by yourself as mag. It'd take a little bit longer than three minutes, though, and you're just trying to get from point A to point B and kill as many guys as possible. So, yeah, I guess. Well, that is a look at... The magnetized lady, a mag. Hopefully, you guys had a 
good time looking at her and checking her out. So, uh, abilities, pull, B, magnetize, A, polarize, A, and crush, I would rate that a B. And, uh, yep, yeah, you know, try to get lots of shields because when you give yourself a nice shield boost, the higher your shields are, the bigger your boost is going to be. And, um, you know, so vitality, some extra shields. You could replace vigor with something else if you wanted to try to get a little bit more armor in there. But, you know, 65%, it's only going to go up to 94. You know, you're not even up to 100 yet. Uh, so this one gives you a ton of shields and a ton of health. In fact, how much do you lose? You lose uh, 180 shields and 120 health. So, yeah. Um, you could try to do more duration instead of uh, some vigor. Or maybe... Trying to think of what else might be. You could put in uh, Augur Reach as well to try and get some more range. You know, with your uh, powers. Yep, so that's, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty much how I would do it. Either that, uh, more range, because it would suck in people from longer into your bubble. Uh, let's see what the range is going to be on that now. Uh, seven meters. So I think it was like 5.6 meters. So about another meter and a half. So that can make a big difference. More people get inside the bubble, the bigger, you know, the more damage you're going to continue doing. And uh, yeah, so that's mag. That's mag. I think, uh, like I said, probably... Right now, with shields not being super important, you know, the fact that you can't give, um, the fact that you're polarized, it does do some energy, or it does some uh, shield and armor damage to the enemies, which is nice, gives your teammates back shields. If we give them back armor, this power would be so good right now in the game, because armor rules over everything. But still, getting your um, shields back to your allies can be very important. Obviously, use the magnetized bubbles as uh, as uh, protectors. Pulling enemies really quickly when you have to reload or you're not prepared for the enemy standing in front of you or they're getting ready to do one of their big attacks. And then crush every once in a while that pulls them up, puts you know, kind of stuns them for a second, does a little bit of damage, uh, and... Um, uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's Mag in a nutshell. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. So thanks so much for watching. Bye now.